Good evening, everyone. From Nashville, it is Monday, January 25th. I'm Charles Brown, Portfolio Manager with CB3 Financial. We're glad you're with us. Busy day on the trade desk between the executive orders and the new earnings results coming in from fourth quarter. It's going to be a very busy week, so tonight's episode is mainly to prepare you for Thursday night when we'll have both of these topics covered in more detail. But for now, this is your Monday Market Mashup. Uh, try to get this done by 7 o'clock, but we actually had a little bit of a power uh, situation here in uh, Nashville. A big, big uh, storm came through, so I'm a little bit late tonight. Sorry about that. For those of you that are new, though, we would like you to subscribe. Hit the little bell, and you'll get notified when we go live. Um, going to live usually on Thursdays, in fact, almost always on Thursdays, sometimes on Mondays. Uh, I do tweets, so be sure to follow me on Twitter, usually every day, sometimes more than once if something newsworthy comes along. Also on LinkedIn and Facebook, you can find us there as well. So the earnings acceleration, it started last week in the financial sector. It continues this week in the mega cap stocks. So it should be a really interesting next few days, and I'll have more for you when I get back to you on Thursday night. And of course, executive orders, all kinds of stuff going on there too, so we'll get to it. Corona America, we got some good news for a change, okay? So some live updates, um, you know, just the last few hours or so, the number of people hospitalized in the U.S. due to COVID-19 fell to the lowest level since mid-December. Okay, I realize that's only five weeks ago, but nonetheless, we can all use some positive uh, news on this front. Um, the number of newly reported cases also is declining, and that's a positive. I'll have more details Thursday night, but how about those for two pieces of good news, okay? And there's a little bit more. So Moderna says that they have a shot that they think works against the variants. Now, what are we talking about with the variants? So not only do we have to deal with this massive pandemic, COVID-19, but there are variations known as variants of this um, pandemic flu. And, uh, you know, this Moderna it basically is saying, well, we think that we can treat those variants as well, especially uh, this new strain that's come out from South Africa. So um, again, I'll have more of this on this on Thursday, um, but I'm pretty excited to see that, you know, you don't want to start yet another pandemic on the tail of uh, the one that you just finished. So if these vaccinations are this potent, and again, record time developing these from these companies. Moderna, Pfizer, it's just really a great thing. In the U.S. economy, so the markets, uh, you know, really starting pretty strongly. The Russell and NASDAQ have flipped places, as I've been pointing out so far this year. Russell up 9.5% on the year, NASDAQ up 58 so those two have flipped places. S&P and Dow in the same place, i.e. trailing the NASDAQ. But uh, the Russell's really the big surprise for the year, without a doubt. As we look to earnings seasons, look at the blue line here. This is the price of the S&P 500 and the black line or the forward P.E. ratio. So you could look at this and say, well, boy, price is really getting ahead of the forward P.E. ratios. Well, there's two comments I want to make on that. And again, I'll have more on Thursday. First of all, uh, we're just finding out what earnings are going to be for the fourth quarter. So that could change this line considerably uh, going forward. But also, we are in a super low interest rate environment. And earnings just take on, you are willing to pay up for more earnings, more for the earnings, uh, you know, price equity ratio there, um, EPS. And the reason for that is because in a low interest rate environment, you just don't have anywhere else to go. You don't have any place else to put your money. Bonds don't work. Cash certainly doesn't work. And that's why I'm just not as concerned about this piggybacked on top of this being a secular bull market, which I've been talking about for months now. Um, real positive here in the ma manufacturing PMI, producers mark, uh, market index, uh, prices, uh, you know, five-year highs here, actually more like seven-year highs. That's an encouraging sign. Talk more about that on Thursday. And here's a new one for you, okay? The scrap metal industrial monthly price um, broke out to a new high. This uh, scrap metal is used for uh, in the construction industry for roads, bridges, uh, manufacturing automobiles. You know, you're not going to build a skyscraper with scrap metal, but it has many other applications. So what is this saying to me? 
that all wheels of this economy continue to roll forward even as we break out of this recession, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic with variants on the virus. Okay, so this is a tribute to the American economy and the strength of it, and I find that very encouraging. I mentioned in the opening topic here that uh, we've got a lot of executive orders. Donald Trump did the same thing, Barack Obama did too. Here's the difference between the executive orders uh, of the previous administration and the current one. I've got eight of them here. There are a lot more than this. Memorandum freezing approval of the rules passed in the final days of the Trump presidency. So obviously he's going to try to overturn many things that Trump put in place. Uh, executive order rejoining the Paris uh, Climate Agreement uh, to promote racial equity. Uh, Proclamation banning uh, U.S. entry from major, uh, majority major uh, Muslim countries. Sorry, I'm tired tonight, guys. The point of that is that that was obviously a big contentious issue when uh, President Trump uh, negated that and basically tried to keep uh, and successfully kept many people out from Muslim countries because they couldn't be vetted as far as being terrorists. Uh, an executive order or revising immigration enforcement policies. Uh, executive order in incorporating undocumented immigrants into the census. Okay, so um, you can see already that these executive orders are not financial ones. They're not economic ones. That's what Trump's focus is. That's what the Republican Party focuses on is economic um, initiatives. Uh, the Democrat Party is more interested in social initiatives, and that's what you're seeing, and I think you'll continue to see. Um, it makes it a little bit easier for me to cover because this is a financial program. So um, I'm just bringing these to your attention. Uh, we probably will have less uh, political coverage during this administration uh, unless the policies uh, affect the societal fabric of America, which thus affects the financial fabric of America. Uh, here's a big one, though. Uh, refocusing on the climate crisis and canceling the Keystone permits. So those companies that have permits can keep them, at least for now, but no new permits. Um, and that's a, a loss of thousands of jobs. One of our viewers in Montana mentioned it's going to be really tough for any Democrat to get elected out there with this many jobs being taken away. And then a proclamation pulling funds from the border wall. That's not a surprise either. So expect a lot uh, changing with this administration. Words of wisdom for the week. I do this every Monday. The inherent vice of capitalism is that there is unequal sharing of the blessings. The inherent blessing of socialism is there is equal sharing of the misery because socialism is a, an economic and a societal system that tries to make the playing field, every you know everybody on it in the same place with equal outcomes. The U.S. Uh, system of capitalism uh, strives to provide equal opportunity, but not equal outcomes. The outcome is up to the individual. Uh, you'll probably see the change in that focus with this administration. So for Thursday night, the mega cap earnings, we'll have a bunch of them, not all, but many of them on Thursday night. We'll tell you about that. And of course, the political influence abounds uh, in this administration. We'll see if it actually has a financial impact on the markets. We'll know a lot more after the first 100 days. I think that's reasonable to say. Reminding you again, please tell your friends, guys. We want more people watching the show. Uh, we like it when people interact live with us on Thursday, and we appreciate you watching these updates on Monday to prep you for the beginning of the week and what's going to come up ahead. So uh, follow us on Twitter as well. And um, just Hoping that you guys get a, a good start to the week here. We're excited about what's happening in the earnings field. We think the bull market continues. We think earnings will surprise to the upside. We plan to keep working hard for you at CB3 Financial. We don't just manage your assets. We become one of them. And we will see you on Thursday night. Mm -hmm.